Hey guys, I hope you had an awesome Christmas and today's video is what I got for Christmas. I tried to stick to mostly the swimming stuff that I got because I don't think you guys would really care about snow boots and makeup brushes. <laughs> I basically just brought up an entire box of stuff and this is a lot. Let's get started. First thing is these arena goggles. I've heard that these are a lot like the Speedo Vanquisher 2.0s and that a lot of people love these and once they try them out they like them more than the Speedos so I was really excited to try these out and I will definitely do a review on these. Let me know in the comments if you want me to do a first impressions type review like my Michael Phelps video or you want me to just do a plain review on them. I have a feeling I'm going to like these a lot. And I also got this Bluetooth speaker. This is really cool because I'm guessing you can like stick it under the block while you're swimming and whenever you get to the wall, you can hear your music. And it comes in this pretty protective case and you just unscrew it and the speaker is inside here. This doesn't say it's waterproof so you can just stick it in a Ziploc bag, but I, don't, I think that would probably muffle the sound. So, I don't know, maybe just put it in your room while you're cleaning or something. But putting it under the block was a good idea. I also got a really awesome water bottle from one of my friends. This is so cool. I've been wanting it for a while now. It, <laughs> this is really cool. It has this little sprayer on the side, so if you get sweaty during dry land, which everyone does, or if you happen to be really hot while you're in the pool, you can just push this and spritz yourself with it. I'm not hot right now, so that was actually really cold. <laughs> but this is really cool. I also have these um, waterproof earbud mp3 player. I have all my really good songs on Spotify, but, uh, so for this you have to import all of your songs on here, which you can't do with Spotify. It's like a little tube of lip balm on the side of your head while you use them. So I'm actually pretty excited to try these out. Let's open this one up. I'm really curious what it looks like. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the tape is really tight and it's not coming out. Yes! Hmm. That looks a little strange. Oh. So, looks like the MP3 player thing is here. And they're like little zip ties that attach to your goggles, like right here on the side, I guess, like this. And then... I'm gonna be doing some investigating on this because I have no idea what this is. <laughs> And then it comes with another silicone thing. Uh, I will definitely experiment, play with it, and do a full depth review on this. This should be fun to play with. And next, I have this uh, cup of markers. This cup is dirty. Um, these are just some silver sharpies, silver and gold sharpies that I got in my stocking. And then these are also black light sharpies, these really bright ones. Um, they're not glow in the dark, they're just black light, so you could draw a really cool design on your arm when you go roller skating or bowling, or you could like color your face in them and have a glowing face. That would be attractive. I'm actually going to draw something on my shelf right now. Here's my design with these amazing markers. I use the silver and gold ones, and then these are the black light ones. They, the black light ones are a lot brighter than normal markers are, but they're not glowing. They're just kind of more neon. All right, moving on. This is not really swimming related, but I thought I'd throw it in here because it's pretty cool and kind of weird. Okay. Uh, this is not just a cat. If you pull off the butt, it's a pen. <laughs> so you can write with 
cat and then just put the butt back on and it's a full cat now. <laughs> okay, that was kind of weird. Alright, next. I got this iPad bag that's waterproof and it just it's just like this little clip bag that you can put your iPad into and it's actually pretty big like this and it does come with a lanyard somewhere in this box I'll just put this back in here and when I find it I will show you then I have this uh, universal bike mount this one is actually really cool. It can fit um, any sized phone, I think, because it does stretch. My mom and I love to go bike riding and long distance rides where we need a map. And it's really annoying to have to pull our phones out of the bike bags and we'll have to like stop just to see where we have to go next. So this is really cool because it can fit any sized phone. I'm gonna take my mom's phone because mine is charging. How does this go on? Oh wait, oh, 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 oh. The reviews on this are actually pretty psychotic. <laughs> People say that they actually use these on a motorcycle. And I would never do that. Just because I don't want my phone to drop and break because they're actually pretty expensive. Um, but yeah, so this is what it looks like. It just attaches to your bike here and it just stretches over the corners of the phone. It's actually really tight. But I still wouldn't ride a motorcycle with it. But for a bike, I think this this is pretty cool. For when it's not raining. When it is raining, I got this other case that attaches to your bike. Uh, here is the bike attachment for it. It just um, clips onto the back here. And this has a cover on it and it just unzips here. And... You can stick your phone in it, which is pretty cool. Take out this padding and put the phone in it. Now, um, this can fit uh, the Note 4, which my mom has, and the 6 Plus, which I have. So it's a universal sizing. But this is what it looks like. So it protects it from the rain, but you can still use it, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, you can still use it. And there is room for a bar to go behind it because um, it's not a total snug fit. It's pretty nifty. Alright, next are these Tangle Free Earbuds. Um, now these are pretty cool because they're the rubber kind that go in your ears. I do like the Apple Earbuds a lot and I haven't gotten a chance to take these out and try them out. But I definitely will be doing that like on a, on a bike ride that we're going. These, I'm pretty sure, stay in your ears better than the Apple ones do. Because the Apple earbuds are a lot um, smoother plastic, so they do fall out easier. Whereas these are rubber, so they stick in your ears better. So on a bumpy bike ride or while you're running, these would probably stay in a little better. Because the Apple ones do fall out of my ears quite often. Now, funny story that makes me a little bit scared to use these. My dad had a pair of these. Not the same kind, but a pair that have the rubber. The rubber part came off and got stuck so far in his ear, my mom had to use pliers to, not pliers, tweezers. <laughs> she had to use tweezers to get it out of his ear. It was so far in there. That was actually kind of freaky because uh, she almost couldn't get it out and it took her quite a while of tugging and pulling and that's a little TMI. So I'm going to be careful with these, but I definitely will try them out. <laughs> and then next I got this adult coloring book. They're stress relieving patterns. They, um, so this is just what the front looks like and they put a similar design right on the first page which I am working on. So it says basically if you find yourself not thinking about it and forgetting all of your worries while you're coloring, you are stress relieving. So I thought that this would be pretty cool to take to swim meets and do it in between races to just kind of forget about the stress of the swim meet and just relax. And I'm so excited when I open this game. It's my cap! My mom found these on eBay for a really great price since this design is discontinued and for all of you that follow me on Instagram you would know that this ripped. This is my absolute favorite cap and I was so sad when it ripped. I could not believe it was discontinued and then I found, I unwrapped the present and I was like, oh my gosh, we found them! So these, this is the Speedo Love Music cap. My mom just corrected me, it was actually from Metro Swim Shop. 
Now they aren't getting any more in, so they are going to run out, but I will definitely leave a link in the description below if you guys want to go and pick one of these up before they're completely sold out, because they're not making any more, which is really sad. So I'm going to be extra careful with these and make sure they do not rip. <laughs> and next, I got this really awesome cap. This is a sugar skull cap, and I thought this would look pretty cool wearing it in the pool. Just be like, hey guys, look at my amazing head. This is what it looks like. So it's like a sugar skull face. This is a TYR cap. And I like the Speedo and TYR. I love makeup and really crazy swim caps. So it's like a blend of the, the two together. Because I've seen a lot of people do this kind of makeup look on themselves for Halloween and stuff. So I thought this would be really cool to wear to practice and look absolutely awesome in the pool. Next, I got a waterproof case for my iPad. This is, it's clear on the back. And, um, yeah, it's pretty cool. It's a lot like my phone case that I have, so it's purple, of course. Uh, and it comes with a lanyard that hooks on somewhere. I haven't played with this very much, so but I will definitely be putting this on and testing it out. And we'll see how it goes. Yeah, and then it's this is the Crazy Genie brand. Wait, no, what's this one? Oh! One of these lanyards goes to uh, this waterproof bag, and the other one goes to that case. I don't know which one's which. They both look the same to me, so I don't think it really matters. It's not really a lanyard though, it's kind of like a tether so you can attach it to your shoulder if you're going on a hike or something. Um, or you can attach it to the block and have it hang there. I don't know why you want to do that, but you could. Oh, I cannot forget. I got a yoga ball. This is so awesome to sit on. This is really cool. I've always wanted one of these so I can bounce on it while I'm doing schoolwork and stuff. So yeah, this is great. If you guys are wondering about my hair, I did play with some pink, temporary pink hair dye, and it is fading a lot, but, you know, I thought it was a really cool experiment, and I really like it. Leave me a comment down below on which one of these items you would like me to do a review on next, and if you want it to be sort of a first impressions video, or just a review on it, and give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and you found it entertaining <laughs> and subscribe if you haven't already to see my next videos bye <laughs> what is this what is what i'm nosy like that i'm like i must know what's in the box and you could be like your arms could be glowing you could draw like flowers and stuff all the way up your arms and be like oh look at me i'm glowing won't go on. Wait, I'm not thinking about anything. Crazy Jamie.